What is going on, fellas? Uh, I'm playing Overwatch. So as you can tell from there, I am playing Overwatch. This game is, I guess, a lot of fun. It's pretty much just like a game where it's like a 6v6. There's like 23 or 24 classes, something like that. And you pretty much just, you know, play together and win games. You can play like with your friends, six people, you know, however you want to do it. It's loads of fun in my opinion. I really do enjoy the game. It's only in beta right now, but I've already had the game pre-ordered for a really long time. And, uh, I don't know, it's just a really fun game to just talk with your friends and play. If you get particularly good at it, you can have a lot more fun in it. Like, uh, my KD is pretty good, and I really pride myself on that in every game I play, whether it be like COD or whatever. One of the things that I feel like a lot of people say is this game is a lot like TF2, which, I mean, I, it sort of is. I can see the similarities, like, like whether it be Junkrat, being able to like do sort of rocket jumps, or I guess in TF2 case, it would be like the sticky bomb jumps or whatever. And the game modes being relatively the same. Like the game modes are pretty much like the attack defend cart mode or even, they didn't even use a different name. They just straight up called it payload like it is in TF2. Or it's the capture the point mode, which I don't recall TF2 having. But yeah, there's a lot of similarities like that. Also, the game feels very smooth, just like a Valve game would, like TF2 does. It, it sort of feels like TF2 in a way. Like it feels, it has that same sort of vibe. I personally also think it's a lot like League of Legends, like, with the characters and their abilities. Like, there are a lot of characters that have very similar abilities in this game as there are to League of Legends. Like, one of the characters, Tracer, is a lot like Echo. For instance, like, with one of her abilities, she has one really big damage dealing ability, which is the ult. She can- she has a lot of teleports, whatever, she can reverse herself back in time, I don't know. There's just a lot of similarities between characters, and it's kind of, like, apparent for someone who plays League. I don't really have anything bad to say about this game. I mean, like, my personal favorite character in this game is what you're watching right now, is Genji. He's very unique. Not really many people play him, from what I've seen, at least. I also like Hanzo, who's like the bow character, whatever. He's loads of fun to play. He's kind of difficult, though. Sort of Genji is, though, too, so. They're like brothers in the story, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but Hanzo, he's he's loads of fun. It's just you have to have, like, good aim and, like, predictions of, like, where they're going to run into your arrow and not. It's loads of fun. Also, Tracer, the character I was mentioning earlier, who can, like, teleport as she pleases, whatever. She's a really fun to play. She's, like, one of the most unique characters I've seen in a game, like, well, ever, I guess. I don't know. Ah, uh, but there are a few characters that I just blatantly think are ridiculously overpowered. Like, for instance, Roadhog. He has his chain thing where he just chains you in, and if you have, like, 200 health, he can pretty much just one-hit you. It's kind of ridiculous. Hopefully, they nerf him before the release of the game. Also, Winston, in my opinion, is a bit OP. I don't really know what people think of that, but, like, Winston pretty much can just, like, jump to someone, and then, like, he has, like, sort of, like, an aimbot lock-on sort of gun that just... He doesn't even really need to aim it. He just needs to have you, like, on his screen and just hold down left click, and then it'll just, like, spray his, like, lasers onto you. And he can take out, like... I'm gonna say, like... 50% of the characters with ease because not all of them have a way to escape and he's like faster than all characters in general A few people think Bastion's OP, but I don't really see that I mean like he sort of does his purpose like he's supposed to just sit back and like be in turret mode whatever and just uh, I don't know like Genji for instance can easily like counter him like he literally just pulls out his sword and deflects the bolts back at him and Bastion's dead like that like nothing ever happened. It's I don't think Bastion's OP really I mean, I think his ultimate is OP, but I don't really think him as a player, or as a character rather, is OP. His ultimate, like, in his character, pretty much, he becomes like a turret that can, like, melt someone. He's actually very strong, but he can't, like, move, obviously, when he's in this turret mode, which I think is, like, what balances him. I say that, but his ultimate can move him, and he becomes even stronger with rockets that, like, one-hit people, so. Yeah, that's really bad. I guess to quickly sum it up my final opinions... What I'd rate this game in beta, I'd rate it like a 7.5. I don't know, it's a very fun game to play. I can definitely see the competitive value, but so far it's just like beta. Everyone's kind of new, no one really knows like what they're doing. There's a lot of people who play like just one character, or whatever. It's very important to switch characters when one character is not working. Just remember that if you're playing this. 
Oh my god. I mean, right now the beta's free, so I recommend everyone watching this just goes and gets that beta. It's on battle.net. It's just, it's just another game to play, you know? It's something to try out. It's loads of fun. I've been seeing people play this game for like a year now, and I've been jealous so much. So whether it be like Star, who's a TF2 YouTuber, or like Muselk, who's another TF2 YouTuber. These people have just been having loads of fun on this game. I've been jealous for so long. Now that I actually have this game, I'm not as hyped for the release anymore, because I've obviously gotten to play it. But that doesn't mean, like, I don't want the game to come out, because I really do still want this game to come out, and I can't wait to actually, like, play the full game with, like, all the maps and everything, and everything just being finalized, with them actually caring about updating the game, because in beta form, they don't really, like, update the beta that often, or if at all. I don't recall if they do. But, yeah, once the final game comes out, they're gonna nerf Roadhog, hopefully, maybe... I don't know how they'd nerf Winston, so he's probably gonna stay the same. I don't know, he's just very annoying. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys like this sort of review style, uh, please leave a comment telling me what you like about it. And if there's anything you need changed, then, uh, please tell me down there, too. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, see you in the next video. Adios.